Hi guys, I'm Demon Killer, and in this video, we are going to walk through how we can write and run a very long HDL programs inside our Linux terminal. So we can always do this inside the Windows command prompt, but that will be discussed in the follow-up to this video. So basically, what we are doing in this video is uh, we are going to write, compile, and run the very long HDL program. So in the next uh, another follow up of, uh, to this video, we will discuss how to, you know, in a layman's term, burn this particular very log code inside our FPGA. So for those of you who don't know what is very log, very log is a hardware description language via which we can program our FPGAs or ASIC SOCs. And basically a lot of PLDs can be programmed with very log. So in order to start uh, with very log programming inside your Linux terminal, we are going to need a package called iCaris very log. Uh, it's uh, uh, in the repositories, it's known as iVeryLog, so we want to install that. So as per your uh, distribution, you're going to use your package manager. So I'm on Manjaro, which is an Arch-based distribution. So I'm going to install it by typing sudo pacman dash capital S iVeryLog. This is in the official repositories. Type your password when you're prompted to. As you can see, I already have iVeryLog installed. But anyways, once you press Y, uh, you should get something like this and iVeryLog will be installed. Now if you are on a Debian based distribution, for example Ubuntu or Linux Mint, uh, you are going to use the apt package manager. So you are going to type in sudo apt install iVeryLog. Alright, and if you are on a Red Hat based or maybe on Fedora, you are going to use DNF. So anyways, now that we have uh, iVeryLog installed, let's make a folder in which we are going to do this uh, VeryLog programming. So I'm just going to name it VeryLog. You can name it anything. But uh, it's easier for, uh, uh, you know, the storage purposes. So anyways, uh, what we want to do is now use our text editor of choice. I'm going to stick to a terminal based text editor, Vim in this case, you can use Nano or Emacs. The reason I'm using Vim is uh, it uh, supports keyword highlighting in case of Verilog. Uh, and you can also use a non-terminal based text editor, for example, uh, Kate or Gedit or maybe even VS Code. So all right, now we have selected our text editor. Let's give our file some name. So I'm just going to name it first program. And we want to give the file extension. So the file extension is .v. So any Verilog program you are writing, the file extension is going to be .v. Hit enter. We are inside Verilog and let's just write a simple hello world program here. I'm not going to be explaining a lot of things. So let's uh, get a module and we'll name it first program. All right, uh, and then we want to initialize this. You can always uh, work with the indentations here. So let's just keep it here. And then we want to begin uh, this initialization. And then we want to display some text and that text is going to be hello world. So this display module that you are seeing here is very similar to your printf function in C. So we're just going to type in hello world. All right. And then we are going to end this with a semicolon and then we want to uh, finish this uh, whole procedure and then we want to end this initialization and then we are going to end the module. Alright, so once that is done, we have our uh, program ready. Let's just close or uh, save and exit first. So I'm just going to save and exit and now we want to compile this uh, program. So what we have in our Verilog folder is the first program dot very log file here it's just a text file so let's just compile it so we can compile it by typing i very log and then first program dot v and hit enter and as you saw without any errors our file uh, our uh, text file got compiled and uh, since very log is a uh, hdl what we we actually cannot see any uh, uh, actual output so because that should go inside the fpga and we'll see the output on the fpga but right now we can see the output on the screen itself. So what uh, the compiler has done is basically created a a.out file uh, in Unix systems or Linux systems. Linux is a Unix system. So a.out is a, a program via which we can get the output of the code uh, for low level languages such as HDL. So, you know, embedded C's languages like this. So what you want to do is type VVP. VVP is a, a uh, tool by which iVeryLog uses to uh, display the a.out code. So we're going to type in a.out, hit enter, and as you can see, our hello world is ready. So this is, guys, how we run Verilog HDL programs inside our Linux terminal. Uh, so the follow-up to this video, like I said, will be two. Uh, in one, we will discuss how to do the same thing inside the Windows command prompt. And secondly, we'll uh, see how to burn this particular Verilog HDL code 
uh, inside our FPGA and display it on the displays available. So if you like the video, please do subscribe and uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day.